What is up guys, this is Max Square, and today is free template Friday. So I'm gonna be giving away another template and this week I'm featuring a free thumbnail generator. Now we're gonna get into exactly what that does, but it's really meant to speed up your workflow and just save you a ton of time if you're a creator, if you're an editor, whatever the case may be, hopefully this will help you with your thumbnail creation process. Now if you're new here, I make videos all about how to increase your productivity on your Mac, iPad, and iPhone. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing down below. But without further ado, let's jump into this template. So once you click the link down below, you're gonna get a zip file that looks something like this. You can just double click it and that will open. And I've kept it pretty simple, just two files. We have the main PSD template. And then I do have a text file that I really wanna encourage you guys to read. It's, it's not super long, but you definitely need to install the Bebus new font. That's what I use for all of the text inside of this Photoshop template. So make sure you download that, it's free. It's really easy to set up. And that's the only thing you have to do, but I've also included some links to the icons that I use and the gradients. And then if you have any questions, I've just given you some contact info if you need that. So once we open up the template, you can see it's pretty blank. There's nothing happening right here. And I've done that intentionally. And the reason is because I split this project up into two different sections. We have a generator folder, but then also the templates folder. So the way it works is that I built out a couple of different sections like text and icons and different overlays that you can use and kind of customize yourself, drag around however you want it in the generator folder. Then I also have a templates folder and that just has a couple different layouts if you're going for a specific look. So let's go ahead and take a look at the generator folder. And as soon as you enable it, nothing really happens. That's because we have three different folders in here. So first you're gonna wanna enable the text templates. Now you'll see that we have eight different layouts. They're just kind of scattered around. Some of them are kind of angled, you know, going across different parts of the screen. This one's obviously super big, but hopefully this kind of covers your basic needs for text. So let's just say we go with this one here, then we could add an icon. So you may have noticed in a lot of my thumbnails, I have like the After Effects icon or Photoshop if I'm doing a tutorial for that specific app. And it's kind of a pain to have to, you know, go to Google and grab the icon, bring it in every time. So if that's something you use, I've tried to bring in a ton of different apps here. I've included stuff like Ableton. If you maybe do music tutorials, I have After Effects, Audition, and I have pretty much have everything in the Creative Cloud suite that you would do a tutorial on. I don't really have stuff like Dreamweaver or anything else, but I have Audition, Experience Design, Illustrator, Lightroom, pretty much all of the main tutorial based apps, if that makes sense. I also have Final Cut and Motion and Main Stage, but maybe if you're doing something more general, you can go to the miscellaneous folder and I've included some just generic icons like a battery, a balloon, you know, for creativity or whatever, brain, camera, calendar, there's just tons of different stuff. Maybe if you're a developer or doing dev tutorials, you could use that code icon. And you'll notice that I also have some effects on this folder. So if I just enable the calendar, for example, I can disable that drop shadow, but I can also turn it white, which it's on a white background, so you're not gonna be able to see. But you can use that color overlay and change it to a color that you might need or that matches your other elements on the screen. So hopefully you can get everything you need from that. But if you look at that text file, I've also linked to the specific icon pack that I grabbed these icons from. And I just kind of highlighted a couple. There's like 20 plus pages in that pack. So you should find everything you need from there. So I'm just gonna enable one icon here and we can close that folder. And we can go down to overlays. Now, this is split up into another three sections. We have gradients and there's just a couple different gradients that I've enabled here and these are set to 50% and that's on the folder. So if you enable a specific gradient and it looks kind of washed out or anything like that, you can go up to the opacity for gradients and just bring that up. You'll see it gets a little bit stronger and more bold. But there's just a couple different gradients here and of course you can jump into any of these and change them out but I got all of these different styles from uigradients.com and I've linked another website that has awesome gradients in that text file. So just reference that as you're going through this. But then I also have a solids folder and this is, as you can imagine, just solid colors. And you'll notice that this kind of carries throughout the project. We've got teal, pink, orange, yellow, blue, red, black, but then I also have a custom. So the custom's just set to white right off the bat, but if you have a specific cold, Cooler, cooler. If you have a specific color that you wanna to set to, maybe a brain color or something that matches your logo, you can set that there and hit okay. 
Same thing, solids are set to 50%, so you can enable that 100% if that's the look you're going for. And then lastly, I have these borders. So again, we have that same color scheme going, but if you just want kind of a highlight trim across your thumbnail, this is really useful if you just want more of a minimalistic look. Maybe you have an image in the middle of your whole thumbnail and you just want a little accent color at the end. This is actually really useful if you wanna draw people's eyes, especially on mobile, you know, you're scrolling and you're just kind of scrolling super fast and you see like a super bright yellow like this, it can really draw the user's eye. So just some really thin borders here. Again, we've got all those colors and custom is set to white. You can match that to your brain color. You get the idea. Now, if you are using the generator folder, you're gonna go into this replace me layer at the bottom and then you can drag in any kind of image. Maybe you have a freeze frame or something like that. You can just save it and it'll update inside of the thumbnail master file. Now you'll see I have a blur on it right now. You can disable that if you don't like it, but then we can go and start adding in those overlays. Maybe we want a border that's teal to go along with that and maybe we want a different icon. You can go find one there and mess around with it. We've got that icon. We want maybe this text template. You can totally mess around with it. Now the text templates also has a color overlay, so you can see this is kind of hard to read with the black text. So you can just drop down that effects panel, enable the effects color overlay, and then you'll see that your title is a little bit easier to read. And again, add as many different effects like drop shadows that you want to add there. So that's the generator folder, and that's really the bulk of this template. That might be all you really need, but if you have specific templates that you're looking for, you can open up the template folder, and I've got about five different layouts here. We've got a center text, which is just a really bold title with a blurred out background. Again, you can disable that blur if you want, and I've just got kind of a drop shadow behind that text, so this would be really bold. This kind of looks like a movie poster or something more minimalistic. But then I have stuff like the image text split, which has an image on the left and then text on the right. And if we open that up, you'll see that you get different backgrounds with that same scheme. So you can mess around with that. And I've also got a color overlay there with a drop shadow just to make it a little easier to read. And then I have a couple of different image split layouts like the two vertical image, the three vertical image, and then a diagonal split. And really these templates are meant to get rid of that extra time spent on trying to create a layout like this. I know I've tried to create this kind of diagonal split before, but it just takes so much time. And then, you know, your video is already uploaded and you're like an hour behind on your editing process. So really that's what that whole templates folder is meant to help you with. And then once you're done, there's no artboards or actions. So all you have to do is hit command alt S that'll bring up your save function and you can save it wherever you want as a Photoshop file, JPEG or PNG, whatever you want. Now this is saving to 1280 by 720 pixels. That's just what YouTube recommends and that's really the best quality you're gonna get out of it. And then just before we go, there is a time code folder and this is just meant to help you when you're placing your different elements. YouTube will put this on any video that is on YouTube. So it's not gonna show up on iframes or anything like that, but anywhere on the mobile or iPad or desktop apps, this is gonna show up. So it's really just meant to help you so you don't run into that with your text or anything like that. So guys, that is it for this template. I hope you all enjoy it. Be sure to check out the link down below so you can download it and start playing around with it. If you run into any issues with it, please don't hesitate to hit me up on Twitter at MaxSquareYT or just email me luke at macsq.com. And if you have any suggestions, maybe you have specific app icons you'd like to be added or different text layouts or any other templates, definitely be sure to drop a comment down below with those specific suggestions. And I'll try and keep this template updated as we go along. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.